Do you too want to create glass morphism? In this tutorial, you will learn how to do that all in After Effects. So I'm gonna create a background scene first and I'm using Motion Duck extension by Sonduck. I'm using the Sonduck background pack and I'm gonna choose this background right here. Just click on the checkbox. And then I'm gonna drop in my gradient balls here. So if you wanna know how to do gradient balls, I have a tutorial that I've done in the past and I've put the link in the description below so that you can watch and learn. And I'm gonna reduce the size to maybe 75. And I'm gonna hit P and I'm gonna add a wiggle expression. So I'll click on the stopwatch icon and then type in wiggle. I'm gonna use 0 0.5 comma 100. So it just kind of like floats around the space like that. I'm gonna duplicate that. I'm gonna change the size to a bit smaller, maybe 40, and bring it to the side. Now, the background is good for now. We can adjust that later, but for now, I'm just gonna lock them all. And then I'm gonna go to my shape tool, to my rectangle tool. And if you can't find your rectangle, you can hold on that shape tool and then choose the ones that you need. So for this case, I'm using rectangle tool. And I have my title safe on here. So if you wanna turn on your title safe, just click on this button here and then title action safe. And I'm gonna go to the middle there and hold Control Alt and just create a shape there. Now, the reason why I wanna use shape layer instead of like solid with mask is so that I can add a round corner. So if you click on your shape layer and look for add here, click on the arrow and then go to round corners. And then you can just bump up your round corners as much as you want. And I'll probably just do it about there. You can't really see it because the color is pink. So I'm just gonna change it to white for now. So it's half that kind of capsule shape. And I'm actually gonna enlarge this a little bit. So maybe that much. And I'm gonna click on this icon here. So it's under, I don't know what you call this, but it's basically, if you turn this on, your shape layer turns into an adjustment layer. Now I'm gonna name this glass. So the next thing I'm gonna do is to add blur. So I'm gonna bring up my FX console, tap in blur. There's a lot of different type of blur that you can use, but I'm just gonna use the Gaussian blur. And I'm gonna bump this up to 60. That part of our shape is blurred while the rest of them are still clear. Another thing that I wanna do is to add grain. So I'll bring up my FX console again and type in add grain. I'm gonna change the viewing mode to final output. I'm gonna leave the intensity as one for now. I'm gonna reduce the size to 0.5. So now you'll see a bit more difference between the glass before we continue, have you ever wanted to save time on motion graphics? Motion Duck extension has thousands of animated templates that you can add to your animation. You can download a bundle pack, buy a new video pack, or subscribe if you don't want to spend too much in one go. They also have a free pack if you want to test them out first. It's so easy to use. The cool thing is you can customize them all. Check out the link in the description below to download. Now, back to the tutorial. Now, the next thing I want to do is to duplicate this glass shape layer. And I'm going to call this stroke. I'm gonna delete all of this effects on the stroke layer and I'm gonna turn off this adjustment layer on the stroke. And as the name suggests, I'm gonna add the stroke. So I'm gonna have five pixel stroke and white and for the fill, I'm gonna click on that fill there and turn off the color, so none. So it only has that white stroke there. And I feel like it's probably a bit thick, so I'm gonna turn it down to maybe two and see how that looks. So that looks a bit better. And I'm gonna hit T for opacity. I'm gonna turn it down to 60 maybe, or even like to 40. And then I'm also gonna add a gradient ramp. So bring up my FX console, gradient ramp. And I'm just gonna bring these points to each corner of the layer. So one on the top left here and one on the bottom right there. And I'm just gonna swap color because I want this part to be darker than the other. And I'm just gonna change this black color to like grayish color. So it just feels like there's a bit of highlight going on there. Now it's already looking more like a glass effect happening there, but I'm just gonna add a bit more extra stuff just to enhance the look. So I'm gonna duplicate the glass again and I'm gonna call it gradient. And basically I'm gonna delete all of the effect and I'm gonna turn off the adjustment layer there. I'm gonna bring up my FX control again and look for gradient ramp again. And same thing, I'm gonna make sure that the point that has a black stays on the bottom right and the point that has white or brighter color stays on the top left. And I'm just gonna change the black color to gray again. And then I'm gonna bring down the opacity all the way to 10. 
you don't really see much difference but if you turn it on off it does have um, a bit lighter color so it just to add more difference between the glass and the real scene and what i'm gonna do next is i'm gonna add a mask here so i'm gonna hold on to my shape tool there go to ellipse and then i'm gonna select this icon so this is basically to create mask on the shape layer i'm gonna hold alt Control shift in the middle of that composition and i would have created a mask i'm gonna set the mask to inverted and i'm gonna hit f i'm gonna bring up the mask feather so it just has like a softer edge i'm gonna add a bit more stuff onto this so i'm gonna create a solid right click new solid i'm gonna choose this orangey color and this is basically just gonna be like a color highlight that's what i'm gonna call it i'm gonna bring this above the glass for now i'm just gonna turn this off for now so that we can see what's going on i'm just gonna create a mask on my solid layer so just like that so if i turn it back on so it's like that i'm gonna hit f for feather bring it up all the way up so it just kind of like have a softer edge like that and now because it goes over the glass i'm gonna add a set mat onto the solid layer so bring up my fx control again control space and type in set mat and basically i'm gonna set the mat to four glass because that's the layer that i want this color highlight to follow i'm gonna select this mask and duplicate it i'm gonna double click it on the screen turn it over like that move it to the side and set it to the corner like that i'm gonna bring the opacity down to like 80 maybe and then i'm gonna add a turbulent displays onto this color highlight turbulent displays and make sure that you're animating the evolution so i'm just gonna add a time expression there so alt click and then time a stairs 100 and just make sure that the set mat is set underneath the turbulent space so turbulent space has to go first so now you already have a pretty cool glass morphism there i might actually adjust the movement of the balls here just so that they move a bit further and a bit faster maybe so one two hundred now the last thing that i'm gonna do is i'm gonna add a text so i'm gonna tap in glass I'm gonna bring that to the middle I'm gonna enlarge that and i'm choosing this like light gray color and basically what I want you to do under mode here, just select subtract. So it has that kind of like cool overlay color. And I can actually change the color of the text to be a bit lighter or darker. So the lighter you go, the darker it'll get, but the darker you go, the lighter it'll get. So I'm probably just gonna do like a darker gray like that. Yeah, so that's how you create glass morphism in After Effects. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you next time.